The boxing community has reacted to the intense showdown between Tyson Fury and Oleksandr Usyk, sharing their thoughts on the fight's outcome. Before the fight, Opataya, an Australian fighter, said that he aims to unite the cruiserweight category by matching some of Usyk's accomplishments. But after that, he wants to confront the man head-on. Opataya told Sky Sports, I would love to fight Usyk. I've watched Usyk for a long time. I was a 17-year-old kid at the Olympics in London in 2012 and he won the Olympics. I've always been in the shadows. I've always been very close and now I'm starting to roll into my prime. He further added, I'm not a little kid anymore. Now they know. I'm on their radar. It's a good feeling. He's always been at the top of where I was at. He's always been the no one seed. So to get a fight with him, I would love that. Roy Jones Jr., while initially supporting Tyson Fury, acknowledged that Fury's recent performance has made the decision more challenging. Despite narrowly winning a split decision against Francis Ninganu last October, Fury's lackluster showing raised doubts in the boxing community. Before Fury's bout with Usyk, Jones Jr. commented on how that performance led many to question Fury, but he still believes Fury can emerge victorious. He added, my prediction before that fight was that Tyson Fury would win, but it's going to be a lot tougher now because of the fact of the last fight. Jones Jr. continued saying, Tyson Fury knew Francis Ngannou was the type of guy he wasn't supposed to struggle with, but I have to go with Tyson Fury. He has a strong history behind him, and if he manages to beat Oleksandr Usyk, he will be remembered as one of the greats because no one has beaten Usyk yet. Simon Jordan of TalkSport predicted that Fury would win via knockout, but later in the fight, he said, I think Fury wins the fight based on my belief that he comes in the best version of himself. I think he'll be too big and too strong. I think he'll be cautious. We might have to yawn our way through the first couple of rounds. Conor McGregor, the former UFC champion, offered a considered perspective on the bout when questioned by the BBC. McGregor, known for his expertise in combat sports, refrained from definitively selecting a winner, instead emphasizing the unique strengths of both fighters. McGregor commented, Usyk is a crafty, crafty boxer. If anyone can do it, maybe Usyk can do it, but Tyson is also a crafty boxer. Plus he has the size. Tyson is a tough man to beat in the boxing arena. Fury's ring intelligence and adaptability have been well documented throughout his career, contributing to his success against a variety of formidable opponents. According to McGregor, one of the main advantages in Fury's favor is his imposing physical presence. Fury frequently utilizes his size to great effect, employing his reach to keep opponents at a distance while delivering powerful, accurate punches. During an interview with TNT Sports, George Groves, a former super middleweight champion, highlighted Usyk's intelligence and technical prowess. Groves suggested that these qualities would likely prevent Usyk from being overwhelmed by Fury's size and strength. Groves said, I think Usyk is far too smart to fall into that trap of having the bigger guy lay on him and use his size against him. He praised Usyk's ability to maneuver around the ring, emphasizing his exceptional skill in cutting angles. This tactical movement enables Usyk to land multiple punches from advantageous positions while evading potential counters from his opponents. Groves added, He cuts out at amazing angles. He can himself into angles where he can touch you three, four, five times before he gets that power shot in. He's done it time and time again since he has moved up to heavyweight. He hasn't put a foot wrong. He'll be the favorite, I think. Deontay Wilder's trainer Malik Scott also offered his insights on the clash between Tyson Fury and Oleksandr Usyk, sharing his thoughts on the outcome and the strengths of each fighter. Speaking to Sky Sports, Scott provided a nuanced perspective that recognizes the attributes of both competitors. Scott acknowledged the significant physical advantages that Fury brings to the ring, noting that Fury's physical condition has surpassed his expectations. This conditioning is crucial as it ensures that Fury can maintain his agility and endurance throughout the fight. Scott emphasized that Fury's skills go beyond his size, highlighting his ability to blend physical strength with tactical acumen. These qualities make Fury a formidable opponent capable of adapting to various styles and strategies in the ring. Carl Frock entered the debate surrounding the heavyweight clash between Tyson Fury and Oleksandr Usyk, voicing his belief in Usyk's capacity to outwit Fury. Speaking with TNT Sports, Frock outlined his rationale for backing Usyk, 
notwithstanding the Ukrainian's age. While recognizing that Usyk, at 37, might be experiencing the natural effects of aging, Frock stressed that Usyk's wealth of experience and ring intelligence would more than compensate for any potential decline in physical speed. Frock said, what's Usyk now, 37 years old? So he's slowing down, but he's got the ability to have a couple of close rounds, not lose the round, and say, right, I struggled there. He goes back to his corner and then just lays it on. Focusing on Usyk's strategic acumen, Frock pointed out how Usyk can adjust mid-fight, recognizing rounds where he may have faced challenges and then making the necessary adaptations. This adaptability enables Usyk to remain competitive throughout the fight and prevent decisively losing rounds. According to Frock, Usyk's capability to reassess and respond effectively makes him a formidable adversary. Furthermore, Frock elaborated on Usyk's tactical brilliance, highlighting his adept use of feints, footwork, and body language to dictate the pace of the fight without necessarily getting drawn into direct exchanges. Boxing legend Lennox Lewis also weighed in on the matchup, offering a comprehensive analysis. In an interview with The Guardian, Lewis expressed his belief that Tyson Fury's physical advantages would be a decisive factor in the fight. He emphasized his confidence in Fury's ability to capitalize on his significant size advantage over Usyk. While acknowledging the skills of both fighters, Lewis underscored the challenges Usyk will face due to Fury's imposing physical presence. Lewis commended Usyk's movement and balance, noting the Ukrainian fighter's ability to effectively string together his punches. However, Lewis highlighted that Usyk will be up against a 6F9 in opponent, presenting a unique set of challenges. He said, I believe the bigger guy, the better guy wins. They both have good skill and Usyk has good movement with good balance and puts his punches together well. But he's going up against a 6F9 in guy. And for me, Tyson Fury is very elusive, even if he is so big. Lewis described the fight as an intriguing matchup given the technical prowess of both boxers. However, he emphasized his belief that when fighters possess similar technical skills, the larger one has a distinct advantage. This perspective from Lewis added depth to the discussion. He elaborated saying, if Tyson makes you miss, he makes you pay. It's an interesting matchup, but I always say if two guys have the same technical skill, the bigger fighter wins because he can impose his size on the other guy. On the other hand, David Hay highlighted the technical brilliance and strategic adaptability of both fighters. In an interview, Hay dissected the nuances of the fight, offering a detailed prediction that highlighted the strengths and challenges each fighter brings to the ring. Hay began by acknowledging the cerebral nature of the matchup. He elaborated, noting, both are very smart, both can adapt, underscoring the high-level boxing IQ possessed by both Fury and Usyk. Their ability to adjust strategies mid-fight and respond to their opponent's moves is a testament to their elite status in the heavyweight division. Moreover, Hay highlighted Fury's resilience and ability to endure punishment, suggesting that Fury's durability might allow him to be more aggressive in the early rounds. Fury's capacity to absorb blows and remain effective could give him an edge in maintaining pressure and seizing opportunities as they arise. However, Hay tempered his assessment with a cautious outlook on the fight's outcome. He conveyed his belief that the bout would be highly competitive and could go the distance. This forecast acknowledged the difficulty of decisively defeating Usyk, whom Hay referred to as the master boxer. Meanwhile, Oscar De La Hoya also provided his perspective on the bout, highlighting the similarities between the two fighters while ultimately favoring Tyson Fury. Speaking with conviction, De La Hoya compared the skill sets of both heavyweights emphasizing their shared attributes and Fury's advantages due to his physical stature. De La Hoya began by drawing a direct comparison between the two boxers, stating, I think Tyson Fury is the bigger version of Usyk. This observation underscores his belief that both fighters possess similar abilities in terms of technique, agility, and ring intelligence. By likening Fury to a larger version of Usyk, De La Hoya highlights the unique challenge that each fighter presents both are known for their ability to outthink and outmaneuver their opponents, combining technical prowess with strategic versatility. Expanding on the similarities, De La Hoya noted, he has speed, he has power, he's very versatile. These qualities are hallmarks of both Fury and Usyk's fighting styles.
Fury's agility and quick footwork are particularly notable given his size, allowing him to move with unexpected fluidity that often surprises his opponents. His power, combined with his reach, makes him a formidable force in the ring. Similarly, Usyk's speed and precision have been instrumental in his rise through the heavyweight ranks, enabling him to dominate his fights with a blend of tactical acumen and physical dexterity. Despite acknowledging Usyk's skills, De La Hoya ultimately leaned towards Fury as the likely victor. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks.